cards really pleased uh, in the way that you came back in that, in that second half, especially after you made them two subs? Yeah, just it was important today. Obviously, you know, it's still very early, early doors in the season, and but you know, it was it was always going to be a big game um, coming here. You know, they've they've done great last season, and they've they've found it tough this season. And when when they scored, you're thinking, is it going to be? You know, we don't want to be the team that that kick starts them. Um, but I felt the first fifteen minutes, twenty minutes, I thought we. We played some nice stuff without really hurting them. They looked a threat from the set pieces uh, early on. But then uh, as the first half wore on, sort of midway through, they changed shape. Um, and it caused, us, it caused us problems. It caused us more problems than it should have. I felt we were passing it into trouble too much. You know, we're playing up the hill. We're trying to hit diags into the wind, into the rain. And as I say, up the, up the hill. And... Um, and they weren't quite getting there, but you're letting them off um, when you've got good possession. Second half, obviously half time, we had to we had to speak about a few things about being patient. Obviously, their lads being sent off just on the half, and we spoke about being patient and that we needed to get the ball wide. I felt we weren't getting it wide enough. We were going through the middle too much, and when they were down to ten men, that's where they that's where they want you to play. Um, and I felt we, we we were just a little bit numb towards what could affect the game. Um, but then when we, we obviously made a couple of changes, um, I just felt it was needed. And obviously it doesn't, it doesn't, uh, doesn't go any better when both your subs score. Um, and I felt obviously we had another chance uh, with Matty, but they had a couple of chances early on in the second half, to be fair to them. They, you know, they, they attacked well, they, they lined up well with, with the 10 men, but it was important that we kept patience and we made the, made the extra man count. And I felt we did that as the second half wore on. You mentioned that situation about coming here and, and not wanting to kick start them. Did that pressure on you increase a little bit because of the red card? You know, especially that maybe and were you a bit worried in that first ten or fifteen minutes in the second half that you were struggling to, to get on top of the team? Yeah, we did we just we just didn't um, what we'd planned to do just didn't come into fruition. Obviously they changed the shape, like I say, midway in the first half, which stifled what, what our game plan was a little bit and to be fair to them you know it worked well because they got a goal on the back of it um, and then like you say second half early on it, it, we were still sort of huffing and puffing nearly too many nearly passes um, but they had to be forced so then obviously you bring Miles on he's going to give you more natural width I started Bowen out there today just to play in off the left um, at times it worked at times it didn't um, but I think that was more to do with our decision making at times, not 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 playing the right ball or, like I said earlier, hitting too many diags. It just it just favoured them. Um, but as I say, when we brought Josh on, it, it stuck up front. They obviously everybody knows how how important Josh is to us, and you know he's been a miss this season. But with them two on the pitch, they really give us a threat. They they stretch the game for us. Josh give us a platform to play off. Miles, he obviously give us. With and endeavour and, and and that goal threat and, and to be fair he's, he's, he struck his goal really well um, and like I say we we had a couple of other chances Connor's had another couple of chances as well Matty Mark's gone through what with what would have been a great goal um, but he's just uh, chipped the keeper but it's gone on the wrong side of the post but great win um, you know first one since Kiddy so the lads are saying and it feels like last season um, which. You know, it can be, but we've just got to main, make sure that we maintain it now and we don't just, you know, think, oh, yeah, we've had a, we've had four points in the last two on the road. That's it. You know, we, we have to build. Yeah, you mentioned Josh Amos there. Effectively, he's come on and, and won you them four points, I guess, in many ways, and shows how valuable he is, like you say. He is, and he knows that. Um, but we also know we can't flog him because when you do that, he breaks. And that's why it's important, Joe, steps up to it because Joe's got a lot of good attributes. He just needs a little bit of confidence. He needs to pull it together and he needs to learn off Josh as well because, you know, he can be that way. I just think he needs to um, just focus on on trying to do one thing at a time rather than trying to do everything. He's trying to run the channels. He's trying to roll the ball up. He's trying to win headers. He's trying to shoot sometimes when it's not on. You know, he's just got to focus on, on, on one thing at a time. And, and he's a great lad. He wants to work hard and he wants to learn. And that'll come. How much are you looking forward to the, to the two home games now next week? Well, this, you know, 
I always say, you've heard me say it a million times about points on the road are important, but um, and we've took four. We need to back it up. We need to back the last two away games up with positive results at home. Um, you know, we've we've fought hard in the last two games um, to, to pick these points up and it's important that we, we make sure that our home form is you know, it, it is what's gonna drive us up the division as much as anything. But you know, you take the points anywhere, but certainly the next two home games, starting with next starting with next Saturdays, are big games for us. Just picking up on what you were saying about Joe Robert Grant there, I mean, he just, like you say, he does seem to have all the raw attributes to make a, a really good striker at this level, but do you feel like do you feel like he's just one of them that he, he just needs a goal to, to set him off, do you think? Yeah, he's, you know, sometimes it happens with forwards, especially young lads, and, they, they, you know, they start fighting with the game, they start trying to do, like I say, they try to do everything, um, you know, and it, it, it'll, we'll just keep working with him, we'll just keep working away, chipping away with him, you know, we're doing loads of finishing drills with him, little bits of movement with him, little bits of hold-up play, um, and it will drop, it'll definitely drop, because like you say, he's got the raw attributes, I was, um, I think, when I was at Nantwich in pre-season, when um, Bees brought the team over to us, in that game, he was he was unplayable, and Nantwich had some good centre-halves who yeah. played at this level, um, and he was unplayable, and 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 I was like, when I, obviously when I when I came back, I, I was excited to work with him, and I and I think that I think there's going to be a good player for the club there. As I say, he's just got to focus. He's just got to keep going, keep working, which he will, and uh, you know he'll get his rewards for that. 